And a special thanks and shout out to Rick Williams of Butler Maserati Alfa Romeo in Indianapolis, Indiana for allowing me to come out and film today. Hello everyone, today we're going to take an in-depth look at this very nice and very well equipped 2014 Porsche Panamera 4. This Panamera is in the high gloss black metallic, has the black premium perforated leather interior. And this Panamera is all-wheel drive with Porsche's active all-wheel drive system. It is powered by the 3.6 liter direct fuel injection, 4 valve, Vario, Vario Cam Plus V6 engine. It creates 296 horsepower at 6200 RPM, 295 pound feet of torque at 3750 RPM. It is mated to Porsche's PDK dual clutch automatic transmission. It is a 7 speed automatic gearbox. A plug-in hybrid version, the Panamera SE Hybrid, was released in the United States market in November of 2013. Alright, this Panamera does have the reverse camera with active guidance lines. You've also got a 360 degree top-down view with ultrasonic parking sensors in the front and the rear. Engines for the Panamera are first assembled in Stuttgart and the car's body is built, painted, and finally assembled in Leipzig, Germany, alongside the Cayenne and the Macan. From 2009 to 2016, the bodies were built at the Volkswagen Group facility in Hanover. Production began in April 2009, one month after its debut at the Shanghai Motor Show in China. Alright, and this Panamera does have the 20-inch black painted aluminum wheels. It sits on Michelin Sport AS Plus tires. They are staggered size. Rear tire size measures 295-35 R20, while the fronts measure 255-40 R20. The Porsche Panamera is a luxury front engine, all-wheel drive, four-door sedan. It was unveiled at the 13th Auto Shanghai International Automobile Show in Shanghai, China on April of 2009. In 2011, a hybrid and diesel version were also launched, and in April of 2013, a facelift to the Panamera was announced, launching again at the Auto Shanghai Show. And this vehicle does have an intelligent key access system. By keeping the key fob in your purse or pocket, you're able to lock and unlock the vehicle doors. To lock the vehicle, simply locate the black button on the door handle, and the vehicle will lock. To unlock, simply grab the handle as you'd open it. Piano black trim, satin silver finishes, Bose premium audio system, and three driver memory. You've also got power fold away mirrors. Power windows and power door locks. Multi-way ventilated front seats. Automatic headlamp control, Porsche's left-hand ignition control, electronic parking brake. You also have a tilt and telescoping steering wheel. All right, pan through the interior. We're going to show some more detail. Nice, thick, flat bottom leather wrapped steering wheel. Just have the PDK manual shifter controls. Push in to upshift and push out to upshift or downshift. Stalks control your flash to pass, your high beams. You've also got your uh, turn signals. Cruise control, 
and your wipers. Underneath the steering column is actually the tilt and telescope mechanism. Typical of Porsche fashion, you have the large array of stacked round gauges. Over here you have your oil temperature, you also have your oil pressure, 190 mile per hour speedometer with odometer and trip odometer, large central mounted tachometer, it also has a digital readout for your speed. You have your trip computer with various readouts. You have your coolant temperature and your fuel level. You have the Porsche chronometer. Moving down the center stack, you do have your touchscreen display with navigation. various audio controls. You've also got your trip computer controls. And down the center stack, the, a very large array of buttons. This vehicle does have four zone climate control, so every passenger has their own temperature, their own fan speed. They also have their own panel distribution. So all these are climates. Heated seat, ventilated seat, sport mode, your suspension settings, raise and lower, stability control, your PDK shift lever, then you have your passenger climate controls, auto start stop, large central cup holder, small amount of storage in your center armrest with a 12 volt power point, USB port, and auxiliary input jack. All right, below this trim panel here, if you press it up, it'll open up. Additional cup holders will pop out. Overhead, automatic dimming rear view mirror. Then you have your overhead console. LED overhead map lights. You have your dome override lights here. Passenger airbag deactivation parking sensors, home link universal garage door opener, power sunroof control. Dome light is a nice frosted LED light. Sun visors with the same frosted LED lighting on the vanity mirror. Overhead, you have dampened assist handles. All right, and folding the seats is easy. This is a 60-40 split folding style seat, as this portion of the seat folds with this seat here. To fold that seat, just locate at the top of the headrest, there's a silver button.
Alright, to open the luggage area, you can either press the button on the key fob, or you can press the membrane switch in the rear glass, and that will open the automatic lift back. And inside, as you would expect for a car of this size, a very generous amount of luggage room, nice flat load floor with storage nets on either side. It is illuminated with LED lights. And underneath the floor mat, you have your tire inflator kit and various tools along with the Bose amplifier. And to close the lift back, all you have to do is press the button in the trim panel. And this does conclude our in-depth look at the 2014 Porsche Panamera 4. We hope the video was informative. And as always, thanks for watching.